Mm-hmm. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't prepare. Let me do that again. Okay. Left, right, left, right. Go. It's like you sound really annoyed. It's like, damn, fine. We don't have to record. <laughs> no, I just, I like, it's like, you know, when you sit down or like you, like you sigh and then it just comes out. You're like, oh, okay. You know? No, oh, that's how I am at work every day. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. All right. right. Another day. Money. <laughs> Money. Burgers. Hello, Interwebs, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2. My name's Skinny Mini. And I'm Pharaoh. Last episode, um, Lotta's hiding something. So now we're trying to coax it out of her with, um, chess. And, uh, we <laughs> failed three times. <laughs> yeah. And now we're about to, now we're gonna try to do it again, so, uh... <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I'm just, you know, I'm giggling because I'm a... It's me. So he's just he he's been drinking. Nah, you you guys would know if I've been drinking. Trust me, you guys would know. Water. Oh oh well, then I have that too. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Anyways. <laughs> the hell? Yeah, sorry sorry. My, oh. I have a diffuser going and it wasn't spraying, so I was like, what the heck? Sorry. It's like, I just keep hearing beeps, and I don't know what the fudge to make out of it. This means I. Uh, all right, okay. I, <clears throat> I can't give up now. I have to stay on my ground. Okay. Now, is it starting us all over? That, I'm not sure. Uh, let's try this again. Oh, crap. crap, I think it is. Oh, no. no. It is. Oh. No, no. Is it related to the black market auction? Okay. Skip all this. Oh yeah, skip, skip ahead, skip ahead. Okay, uh, did you hear something at the auction? Because you said here. Hmm. You didn't hear what exactly? Did you hear something during the auction? Um, no, that's... I just heard a weird sound is all. It ain't even worth mentioning in my article. Just forget about it. There's no question. Something happened during the black market auction. So now we can go back to the other one. Possibly. Yep, here it is. She has a strange st sound. This could be a useful clue. Alright, go down. So let's go ahead and just skip all of this. Skip ahead, skip ahead. Uh, you were trespassing, right? Yep. Scoop about a murder incident. Mm -hmm. Skip, 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 skip. Golly, that timer is quick. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I should use that. Oh, this is good. I'm waiting to get to there. Perhaps I should use that clue. Didn't you say you heard a strange thing? I heard it. I screwed it up. <laughs> Just click on it. <laughs> Didn't you say you heard something strange during the auction? If it struck out to you so much, it must not have been a sound that you would normally hear. For example, the screams of a murder victim. Yes. Uh, how did you keep? How do you keep figuring that thing? How do you keep figuring everything out so quickly? That's right. I stumbled upon a murder in the middle of my stakeout. But please, don't make me say any more. This is the biggest scoop I've got, I've had in a while. The murder that she overheard. It's most likely the same incident we are currently investigating. This is bound to be crucial information. I'll finish this by confirming the credibility of her information. Oh. She has nowhere left to run. It's time to deal the final blow. Alright, uh... D tell me more about the incident. Eh. Tell me what you know about the murder incident, in full detail. Well, my memory ain't what it used to be. <laughs> Not much I can talk about. I ain't the most attentive gal in the world, you see. Hmm. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Maybe I should try another line of attack. 
Okay, the middle one. Are you still hiding something from me? Tell me the truth. I know you're still hiding something from me. I ain't hiding nothing from nobody. I already told- I already done told you everything I know. Hmm. Don't have clues okay, either. Okay, same thing. Okay. Hey, Wait, he's not, they're not, Third one. he's not doing a memory thing now. Did you really stumble upon a murder? You calling me a liar? Them spitting words. Oh, wait and see. She's crazy. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, what the heck? Thank God I didn't say what I had to say. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Dot, dot, dot. I'm a bona fide journalist. I would never publish lies in my articles. Faster and more accurate than anyone. That's my motto. Her motto, huh? This could be a useful clue. I should keep it in mind. Alright, uh, tell me more about the incident. Oh, here we go. Perhaps I should use that clue. Isn't at all. <laughs> I'd hardly expect a bona fide journalist to be so inattentive. Didn't you just say your motto? Your motto? Moto. Wait. Hello, Moto. What the hell is it? Your motto, right? <laughs> yeah, your motto. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What'd you say about your motto? <laughs> <laughs> First, I thought you said Yamada. It's like, what, why bring that person into this? I don't know who that is. No, your motto. Listen, I, I think I just had a long day. All right. Didn't you? <laughs> well, that's who. <laughs> oh god, I just spit everywhere. And that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for no face cam. Damn oh, it. Ah, <sighs> didn't you just say your motto is to be faster, and more accurate than anyone? Shut up. As I expected, the credibility of your information <laughs> is suspect. Why are you say it like that? I don't know. As I expected. I don't know anymore. Okay, sorry. Uh, but, but I know what I heard. I even got proof. Oh, you got proof? You have proof? You have proof? How is that possible? Explain yourself at once. Got me some evidence. Uh, wait, do you hear that? Well, I was just talking to myself. Y'all just go on and pay it no mind. It seems she's still hiding something. This is an important clue. I'll need to use it effectively. Okay, was it are you, uh, the middle are one? Are you still hiding? Yeah, there we go. Perhaps I should use that clue. You still haven't told oh. me everything. Isn't there something you haven't told me yet? You you have evidence regarding the incident you witnessed. Something definitive enough to publish in an article. Yes. Ah! What one tarnation? Let me off the hook already. Fine, I'll tell y'all everything. I'll even show you the photo I took if you stop harassing me. That's good enough for you. Checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That, Golly, that was <clears throat> unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> I lost. I really lost. The mouth of the South has been defeated. <laughs> shut up, shut up. Now then, it's time to come clean. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, god. oh my god. What? I just I was thinking like, oh my god, we're like in our twenties and I'm like, oh I turned twenty-nine on Monday. Oh god, that's right. <gasps> I'm uploading this on my birthday. Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday! Oh, no. no wait, no, that's the last no, episode. This is, this is Wednesday. Just... Happy belated birthday! Yay! Uh now then, 
it's time to come clean. Tell me everything that you know. I was watching the auction, gathering info for my story. You didn't just watch, though. You got shocking photos, too, right? Ugh. A little while after the auction started, someone won a bid and the conductor banged the gap. Someone hollered, we'll finish this deal upstairs, or something like that. That ain't good, I thought to myself as I hurried back to hide behind the statue. Did you see whoever came up? Not quite, but I reckon the feller that came up was the winner of the bid. I could smell the buttery aroma of a big fat waz of cash. Buttery aroma? <laughs> I can't imagine that at all. I reckon this room is where the bidders ponied up the dough for their purchases. The two of them talked for a while. Oh, wait. There was a second person in the storeroom? You betcha. I reckon it was the conductor. And then out of nowhere, one of them started screaming. I almost scratched, scared my britches off. I rolled up myself into a ball and kept laying low. So you witnessed the murder? Well, I wouldn't say that I witnessed it, but I definitely heard it, though. Didn't you try to stop them? Just stop right there. That ain't even funny. What's a dainty little thing like me gonna do? She has a point. I mean, what, what would anybody do? It's like, come on now. Yeah. Dainty. After that, I heard me some rustling and bustling. The whole time, I was really regretting coming here. Something fierce. Well, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, but nothing gets in the way. A lot of heart in her photos. This was my big scoop. Ain't no way I was gonna let it slip away. Uh. A bit later, I hear this loud thud. I figured it was my last chance to snap a photo from behind the statue. Well then, would you please show us the photo? Oh, what, do I have to? <gasps> this is... The person in the red raincoat who attacked Kay! The person in the red raincoat assaulted the victim in the storeroom. And then attacked Kay on the roof. Oh. There's only one person in this photo. Where's the victim? Yeah, I thought it was strange too. I could have sworn there were two of them, but when I looked, there was only the one. But that's gotta be the killer, right? Don't you reckon? So she's saying the victim disappeared. Man, my computer is being loud as hell. Sorry about that. Um, I hope that calms down in a second. Damn. You were able to tell this person was a culprit just by looking? Oh, their hand was stained bright red, so I figured it was them. What happened to the auction after the murder? Nothing, really. It was just went on like normal. I guess those rich folks didn't give a hoot. They got some nerve. The nerve of a journalist is nothing to scoff at, either. Alright, well, glad we got her testimony down. Oh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I guess that's it? Uh, let's talk to Ray. Wait, oh, there he is. Oh, so what are you doing out there, Ray? <laughs> oh, man! Uncle Ray's heart is pounding up a storm! Surrounded by so many cutie pies in such a small, cramped room? You're 30 something, dude. <laughs> yes. Keep it in your pants. Please! You nasty. <laughs> Mr. Shields, please try to be more serious. <laughs> it was just a joke, man. Uncle Ray's keeping a close watch over little K. So you can continue your investigation without worry. You watching over K is exactly what I'm worried about. Okay. S yeah, seriously, her amnesia and all that. It's like, dude. Yeah. Oh, logic. Oh. I'm like... Oh, never mind. The, so the victim... The murder may have occurred in the storm during the auction. Entered the storm from one roof, from roof one at a time. Oh. Hmm. They exited the same way. Oh, what if they disappeared through? 
Oh, wait, I think I know what happened. I, okay, I don't think she witnessed the murder, per se. I think she may have witnessed something else. Well, let's see what happens when we try connecting these, then. Connect! Four. Wow! Blah. If we assume that the murder took place in the storeroom, then we must conclude that the body was here as well. Huh? Isn't that pretty obvious? Do you remember how the participants left the auction? Of course. They passed through the storeroom on the way back from the auction. Ah! Exactly. The culprit had to hide the body so that the participants wouldn't discover it. The real question is, where was the body hidden? I think I know where. Emma, would you mind lending me a hand? Leave it to me! What do you want me to do? Let's see... Use your luminal uh, reagent to test for a blood reaction. If you would, please. Okay! Let me show you the power of science! <laughs> the glint in my eyes is getting brighter by the second. Oh. Let's start by examining that ladder over there. Based on Miss Hart's picture, the person in the red raincoat headed towards that ladder. Chances are something will turn up if we check there. Just touch anything you want to examine. If you do that, you'll be able to spray the luminal region at uh, luminal region at. Oh sweet! If there's a blood stain on the spot you sprayed, you'll get a reaction like this. Even so, ugh, no matter how many times I see blood stains, they're always so gruesome. There's a blood reaction here, but it's kind of faint. Let's spray it with luminol two or three more times, so it'll be nice and clear. You can see it clearly now. Ugh, it looks even more gruesome than before. Do you understand how to look for bloodstains now? There are probably a few more bloodstains here, so why don't we give, them, give it a try, Mr. Edgeworth? Okay. Oh. I got one from the top left. Yeah. Okay. Let's search the rest of the storeroom for bloodstains just like that. First, let's look for a place to spray the luminol region. Okay, I want this box with the chains. Okay. Examine. Excuse me. Mm hmm You want to examine this spot? Yes. Let's spray luminol on every suspicious nook and cranny. Oh. <laughs> oh. There's a blood stain here too. However, why is there a blood stain in a place like this? Maybe something that had blood on it was stored inside. Okay. Mr. Edgeworth, there are places we still haven't checked yet. So let's continue our investigation. I thought you were trying to say your, say your vowels there for a second all in one go. Hey, how you what? Is that what? Okay, um, the evidence cart. The evidence cart. Yes, I'm gonna examine this spot. Unfortunately, oh. Unfortunately, there are no reactions here. Okay, what about the masks? Okay. You went to examine this spot? Yes. Nope. No. Okay. No. What about the money? It's a briefcase. Check yes. Da, 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 da. Nope. Uh, I guess the elevator. You wanna examine the spot? Yes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's put a numeral on every suspicious. Shut up, Emma. Yes. Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is, right there. Oh. Ah! Mr. Edward, there's a reaction. It's a blood scene. But why in a place like this? Perhaps this is where the murder took place. Ah, it looks like some of the blood dripped down to the floor below. Ew. Right. Da, da, 
said. Is that it? Oh, yep. yep. Looks like we found all the bloodstains in the storeroom. It seems we have investigated the storeroom sufficiently. Okay, uh, so not logic? I'm thinking. Why was the blood hidden? Blood stain and costume trunk. Uh, that makes sense. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the reason why we found a blood stain in the costume trunk it's because the murderer hid the body in that box. I wonder who... Oh, God, sorry. You're good. Oh. I wonder who won the bid for it. The trunk, I mean. That, I don't know. In a certain way, everything worked out exactly as someone wanted. Hold it, hold it! It couldn't have been that in that dressing box. What do you mean? When I first came down here, that box caught my eye, too. It was just the right size and would have made the perfect hiding place. That's what I thought, anyway. But I couldn't get that dang thing to open. It had been wrapped up real tight with a locked chain. The murder happened after that, so hiding a body in there wouldn't have been would have been impossible, you know? A chain wrapped around it. That's a bit strange. Right now, it doesn't seem to be locked up at all. Huh? Well, that's weird. Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me or something. That's weird. Hmm. But I think if my theory is correct, I think it is possible. And with that, I believe we have examined everything there is to examine here. Well then, let's head on down! Oh! Have we decided on our next destination? Hey, Kay! Uh, yes, Mr. Shields? We wouldn't want you to get lost, so make sure you stay real close to Uncle Ray, okay? Right. I'll follow you closely, Mr. Shields. These two. Since when did they get along like that? Ever since you lost memory. Yay! Look how cramped we are! Oh, you land on somebody! Oh! <laughs> oh! Would you look at that? Oh, that's convenient. <gasps> oh, oh, damn it all. Yes! Wha 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 Mr. Edgeworth! Hello. <laughs> uh, I think you can take over if you, if you want. Okay. Uh, this place is... Is this the auction hall? No, it's the meeting room from before. Ha! <laughs> oh, how nice of you to drop in, Cape Faraday. You got some guts. Hey, you guys, arrest her! Arrest her! Wait, Kay is. Answer the rest of the riffraff. Just shut him out of the door. I'm Lotta! Uh, this is tyranny! Yeah, it's tyranny, pal! Miles, this is kind of bad! The light of justice shines above me! Ha 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 ha! Youch! Why, me too! Oh, that's strange. I was aiming for that weak ex prosecutor. We were clearly aiming at me! Maybe something got in my way. Particularly. Yeah, yeah. Right around there. Yay, Francisca! Wait, you want me to take over again? Oh, oh it's me, sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, Francisco! Just what do you think you're doing here, ex prosecutor Miles Edgeworth? Yeah, I think you could take over. Right. I do not believe that K is the culprit behind this incident. You're just an ordinary man without investigation rights. What you say does not matter. I am Francisca von Karma. I will never stop moving forward. However, you chose to quit. The outcome of our battle has already been decided. I cast away my badge because it became a millstone around my neck. I shall continue moving forward, even without it. 
the path I walk will surely lead to the truth. My actions are driven by that belief, and that is something which will never change. So, you're saying that you found a path to the truth? Then show it to me. But if that path proves to be a foolish one, it will not survive my wit. Oh, 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 we're doing this. Oh, okay, got it. All right, so uh, in the next episode, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, t uh t testimony with Francisca. <laughs> you just forgot words Sorry, there. It, com it caught me way off guard. I thought we were just gonna be like, oh, this is what we found. Oh, oh okay. So, um, yeah, in the next episode, we'll do that. Sounds good. So thank you guys so very much for watching. And if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.